Ladies and gentlemen, mainly gentlemen, welcome back to the Fragrance Fraternity, the best damn smelling fraternity in the whole world. You know what it is. If you want to be a part of this amazing smelling brotherhood, all you got to do, hit that subscribe button and hit the like button if you enjoy fragrance related content such as this. I appreciate it. Let's get into it today. Things are definitely heating up and I'm not talking about my love life. Sadly, no, we are talking about the weather and it is getting hot and sweaty and you guys are stinking out there and we cannot have that happening. There are too many good fragrances out there. I'm going to tell you about 10 of them. Make sure you take a shower too. That could help. Let's get started here with Carolina Herrera. This is, let's see where the heck the front of this thing is. Chic for men. If you like Millicium Imperial, if you like Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct, these salty watermelon type fragrances that have a certain shine, a certain sparkle about them. You're going to really enjoy this one. The thing that kind of changes this one from those is it has a beautiful cardamom spiciness added to it. Uh, so if you take, you know, that salted watermelon kind of a uh, fresh ozonic type smell and you add a little bit of the sexy cardamom in there, you get chic for men and it is highly slept on, highly underrated and highly affordable. You can get this bottle uh, this is the 1.7 ounce, I believe, in the mid-30s, maybe $40 at the most. Definitely a uh, great value for the money here. Smells amazing. Sadly, doesn't last a super long time. But if you love fragrances, if you love salty watermelon type fragrances, this is definitely one that's going to work for you in the summer. And yeah, I love it. I think you will too. Let's go to the next one. Next one up we have is Boss Bottle Pacific. This is a pina colada in a bottle. Sipping a pina colada by the beach, that is what this fragrance was made for, or at least if you want to feel that way, you could wear this fragrance and get that mindset going. This is my go-to fragrance for the beach. It is a little bit thick and creamy. It has a strong coconut prominence. If you like fragrances like Le Bole Parfum, Virgin Island Water, uh, even to an extent, St. Bart's by Tommy Bahama. Those tropical style fragrances, this is one that you're going to enjoy as well. Boss Bottled Pacific, great performance and just perfect for the summertime tropical vibes. Boss Bottled Pacific. Next one up we have is a fragrance that if I did not include, I would hear about it. And I'm not talking about a Banana Republic. I am talking about Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense. Every summer designer fragrance list ever created has this fragrance for a good reason. Works perfectly in the heat, lasts a long time, is fresh, has a C-note aquatic uh, type DNA to it. It definitely is something that is magical when you catch a whiff of it in the air. I definitely recommend you try this one on skin and uh, see how it goes for you. Some people do have a weird reaction with this one on their skin. Thankfully, that is not the case for me. Um, I really enjoy the grapefruit here on the top and the C-note type aquatic nature that this one brings to the table with the added performance. Light blue intense. You guys already know about it, right? Next one up we have is Zaro Chrome. This is the EDP. Look at that gradient bottle. Damn, that looks good. This is the epitome of a blue shower gel fresh fragrance that takes that Zaro Chrome DNA that you may be familiar with and it gives it a little bit more of a modern uh, modern twist. It updates a little bit. You get the Ambroxan freshness. You get that shower gel freshness. If you like blue fragrances, if you like shower gel fresh blues, I highly, highly recommend you get your nose on Chrome EDP. There is something special about this one. Every time I wear it, it kind of takes my breath away. It is intoxicating. It is masculine. It is fresh. It lasts a long time. And it is just damn perfect for the summer. Chrome EDP, check this one out. This is ranked, by the way. And I probably should have said that at the beginning of the video. But here we are at the number six spot with Hermes H24, a beautiful musky fragrance. And I got to give it to Hermes. They created a new fragrance DNA for the first time. These designers have been releasing the same fragrance DNAs over and over again, but not Hermes. They made something new with H24. I get a little bit of this banana smell. I know not everybody gets that, but uh, to my nose, I get that, especially out of the EDP. Uh, you do also get this fresh laundry type of dryer sheet type smell going on here as well. 
Uh, it is musk forward, so you've got to be into that. I certainly am. It does have a bit of this metallic sharpness to it as well. Uh, I chose the EDT because I think that's the one that works best in the summer. It is the freshest in the line, and it is an interesting new scent profile. And you can get this for a crazy good price. When and the quality is phenomenal. You know, Hermes, they've got bags that are you know, just astronomically priced and purses and things of that nature. So they're not going to cheap out when it comes to releasing a fragrance. And they certainly did not. The quality and the ingredients here, you can tell they are solid. And this fragrance is heavily discounted, which is really nice from a consumer standpoint. You can get a really great quality fragrance and you can get it heavily discounted with H24, the Eau de Toilette. Next one up we have is Aqua de Jou. Absolute, kind of the dark horse of the line, the one that people don't mention as much because it doesn't really smell like Aqua de Jo. Now, don't get me wrong. I love my ADG, specifically Profundo, uh, but I listened to my heart on this one and my heart told me to go with Absolute for this list topic. It is the perfect office fragrance. It is safe without being boring. It does have a little bit of this Invictus Aqua type scent profile. Not quite as sweet as that. It does still have the marine aquatic freshness of Aqua de Jo uh, without all that green, the greenness, I guess, that the original Aqua de Jo is known for. Um, yeah, just a really great dumb reach fragrance. Nothing revolutionary here, uh, but try it out. You may find you really enjoy the way it smells. It kind of surprised me. And I have a lot of fresh fragrances. And for some reason, this one really captivated me. Aqua de Jo coming in at the number five spot. At the number four spot, Aqua de Jo Absolute. At the number four spot, this is Toomey's Awaken. Yes, Toomey released some fragrances. The luggage brand, I know, how strange. But they came with some fire with Awaken, and I believe Unwind was their other release. Nah, Unwind is not maybe as good as Awaken. Awaken, though, is a blue fragrance. It is very bergamot forward. You get this citrusy blast right in the opening and they do have their own little unique DNA to it. It does last a long time. They do uh, advertise that they have some sort of patented formula that makes their fragrances last longer. Not sure about the validity of that, but that is their marketing strategy. And this fragrance does perform and last a really long time for me. So I got to give it to them. I do uh, really enjoy this bottle design. I think this cap little locking mechanism structure is quite interesting and quite different. Very thick glass here. Um, kind of a, you know, one that's a little bit slept on, a little bit overlooked. Does it smell similar to a lot of other stuff? Yeah, it does. But you may find that for whatever reason, you really gravitate toward this certain fresh fragrance or that one, even if it's similar to others. And that's just the case with this one for me. I just gravitate toward it. You see the dent. I put good use into it. It smells professional, it smells quality, and it lasts a good long time. Perfect for summer. At the number four spot, to me, Awaken. Next one up, we have from YSL. This is Loam Cologne Blue. Love this bottle. I think it looks absolutely stunning, and it just matches summer vibes all the way with a slight blue gradient, and this shiny cap always catches my attention whenever I'm glancing over at my fragrances. This one always catches my eye. Um, it does have that original loam EDT ginger sparkle, that ginger freshness, that effervescence, combined with a more aquatic take of C notes and uh, a nice uh, ozonic type airiness to it as well. Performance is average here, but it does have that YSL shine, that sparkle, that little magic that they use in these YSL fragrances. They just have that like designer magic about them for whatever reason. I'm a big fan of the House of YSL, and this is my go-to for the summer. Uh, probably the freshest out of all of them besides maybe the EDT. Uh, however, this one blew me away when I first smelled it. If you like aquatic, like C-note type fragrances, if you like a little bit of ginger in your fresh fragrances, I think you're going to really enjoy it. Loam Cologne Blue, highly underrated and very good, especially for summer. All right, top two. Number two, kind of showed it already. This is Terre d'Hermes Eau Givre, arguably the best citrus fragrance I have ever smelled. I'm talking niche, designer, independent, whatever. This is that jam. The Citron here is unbelievable when I tell you guys. This was made for summer. This was made for a hot day. 
This smells like you just took a clementine and you squeezed some of the skin and you got a little bit of that juice on your skin and it just smells completely natural in that way. Photorealistic citrus type smell here through Citron. Uh, I get a clementine type smell to it and just makes you, uh, just uplifts your spirit or at least it does for me. Perfect for high temperatures. Lasts uh, about four or five hours, but the scent is out of this world. The quality is very, very nice. And the frosted bottle is also quite beautiful. And I do enjoy that they uh, changed it up. No more twist off for this one. They did make it an actual spray with a cap. So I enjoy that change. Teratum has OG Bray. If you're just looking for one, this could be the one because it is really, it's really that jam, guys. Teratum has OG Bray. Last one up. We have the number one designer summer fragrance recommended at the Fragrance Fraternity. I know the whole world has been waiting for this moment and it's finally here. Okay, well, maybe not the whole world, but I know you guys are ready for my number one. And I'm holding it backwards. Very anti-dramatic, very up to form here. All right, Chanel Allure Homme Sport. See, this is what happens when I try to be funny. I just mess up. Anyway, uh, Chanel Lorum Sport, number one. Number one for good reason. This is kind of a throwback, an oldie, but a goodie, a damn good goodie. Um, a lot of people gravitate toward the extreme, and I, I'm cool with that. You know, I, could, I get down with that. Uh, but this one just is my number one. You could really go with any of the Chanel Allure Ohms. They're all fantastic. Even the original, they're really timeless, and they don't smell outdated at all, even though they came out quite a while ago, especially the original one, I think came out in the 90s, but the, you know. Anyway, uh, this one has a similar scent profile to Versace Pour Homme and Missoni Wave, but it's a little creamier. It's got a little bit less of the aquatic vibe going on, a little bit more citrusy than the Missoni. And this one is just one that will stop you in your tracks because it is that good. If you have not tried the Sport Flanker, I can't, you know, go, go smell it guys. Just do yourself a favor, go out there, just try it. I'm not saying you have to blind buy it, but this is quality. This is incredible perfumery. This is top tier designer, summer perfumery, masculine, fresh energy, banger, fire, slapper, all those words, any of the above terms that you want to use to describe how good a fragrance could possibly be. Chanel Alorum Sport. It's definitely worth the price tag and it is quite an incredible fragrance. So that's going to be the number one. That's it. That's all I got. It's all the rambling you're going to get out of me today. That is 10 summer fragrances designer for 2024. Let me know down in the comments below. What is a summer fragrance that you're looking forward to wearing? Love to hear about it. Value you guys your pain. I value your guys opinion. And I always look forward to reading your comments down below. Hope this video finds you in good health. Uh, keep smelling great out there, positive energy, you know, positivity. Um, yeah, all the good stuff. And yeah, let's chat about fragrances. I don't know. That's it for today, guys. Hope you have a good one. See you next time. I'm going to do the same topic, but with niche. So get ready for some niche summer bangers coming your way. All right, guys. Have a good one. Later.